Hey guys, we're back. Um, I'm here with Todd Durkin. Just wrapped up our awesome annual mastermind retreat here in San Diego. And it's very timely because retreats are my favorite thing. I absolutely love getting away and getting out of my normal routine. So I'm going to ask Todd here, what what is the power of retreat and why is it so important that we all step away from life and retreat? Well, I think a couple things, Abby. And first off, congratulations for you stepping away from your busyness of all you got going on in your life right now. You're actually walking the talk of getting away. Um, retreats, first off, typically don't come at convenient times. They're busy times, right? The time like, oh my gosh, I need a vacation or I need time away. And I think it's really important that you just prioritize the fact that you do step away. I call it mellow yellow time. Mellow yellow time, actually stepping away from the hubbub and business of life to work on you. You can only go as far as you grow, and growth starts inside of you. And when you work on yourself, and you get structured time to relax and enjoy, not just staying on a beach, but actually having programs. When, when Abby leads the programs, and, and you look at you know what the retreat's all about, um, it's time to spend with great people in an environment that you can flourish in, mind, body, and spirit. Like you can get reignited and rejuvenated, uh, recalibrated, like just recalibrating your own energy so you go back and you're a better mom or you're a better dad, um, you're a better, uh, just better human being. You're energized and that's what we all want. So I'm a huge believer in retreats and, and uh, stepping away to work on yourself and not always just being in your business or whatever it is that you do. Two things about a retreat. Number one, you need to step away from either your business or your life or whatever the problem is, the obstacle that you're overcoming. Sometimes you're so close to the issue that you can't see it clearly. So stepping away gives you that opportunity to get a better perspective. But the benefit of a retreat, if you look around, quick span the room, are the people and the lives that you get to connect with. We had just, I didn't think Justin was literally going to do that, but he did. But, you know, quite, you know, quite often, again, either in your life or in your business, I think sometimes we're always looking up to try to find the answers. You come to a retreat, you don't have to look up, you can just look around. Because someone here, someone you connect with at a retreat, is going to have traveled the road you're on and is going to help you get there faster. And looking someone eyeball to eyeball and really connecting deeply, um, soul to soul. There is nothing like that. Like attracts like, and I know the depth that you have as a person, and I know that that's the type of person that you attract in your community. So um, I know it can be a scary thing. We've all had the first time that we've come to one of these events, and we know people online, but we don't know them in person. And well, what if they, like, they think I'm crazy or you know what if I, my roommate scores or whatever all those different questions that we have in our head but at the same time whenever we um, come to these events the first thing that I always hear from people are oh you're just like me we're no different right exactly what's that saying strangers are just friends you haven't met yet yes just go to the retreat and you'll be grateful afterwards yes two spots left <laughs> oh you're still on. We're still live. <laughs> hey, you know what? This is you know what? This is hey, this is real life stuff getting feedback and I, don't let perfection be the enemy of the good. But do your best.